class, you learned that the definition of a species is animals that can interbreed and form fertile offspring. Um, the issue with this is you must be able to breed two animals to even know if they're the same species. This is a definition that predated DNA testing. So as you realized last class, it doesn't cover extinct species. If something's not here anymore, we can't breed it. It doesn't cover something that's asexual. Something that's asexual is something that reproduces by itself and doesn't need to have a mate. There's some very simple animals that do this. A lot of plants do this where just part of it can grow off and grow into a new plant. So if we're not testing it by this crossbreeding, it doesn't work. Um, another issue is something called a ring species, which I'd like to talk about. And so a ring species, an example of a ring species is California salamanders. Now, these California salamanders evolved from the north-south. So if I were to look um, historically, the most primitive ones are located here. And then evolution happened down both sides of the valley. So um, organism A evolved into organism B, which evolved into C, which evolved into D. And now D and G are in this, live in the same range and in these overlapping ranges. A and B are still similar enough that they can interbreed. B and C are still similar enough that they can interbreed. C and D are still similar enough that they can interbreed. But if we tried to breed A and D, they can't form fertile offspring. So though A and B are the same species and B and C are the same species, a and C aren't, you see the issue. Um, and so evolution also happened down the other side of California's Central Valley and it, from one organism into another. And now D and G, which have the same common ancestors um, are distinct from one another and that they can't form fertile offspring. This is known as a ring species. There's also examples of ring species in Arctic gulls and sometimes that's used as a case study for this.